What's up everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the smoke in Assetto Corsa to make it look completely realistic or if you want to turn it off. With that let's get straight into it. The first thing we're going to do is open up Content Manager. Once you have it open go to Settings, Assetto Corsa and then Video. From here set Smoke Generation to Maximum and make sure you have Show Smoke and Mirrors ticked on. Then you're going to go to Custom Shaders patch and you're going to find Particles FX. You want to make sure that the extension is active and that New Smoke and Dust is also active. Now, Quantity Limit basically dictates how many particles the game can show. If you set Quantity Limit to say 10%, you'll gain some performance but your game will also look like this. As you can see, the smoke looks patchy and almost lower resolution. If you have a decent PC, I suggest maxing out quantity limit and setting it to 120%. This will make the smoke appear much fuller and much more realistic. Just be aware that this will obviously have some impact on the frames and it might reduce performance a bit. Next up we have cover view in smoke when the camera is deep in it. If you tick this box on, every time that the view is completely covered in smoke, the game will automatically apply a grey filter on top of it to make it appear as though the camera is moving through the smoke. If I pause the camera here for instance, you can see the grey filter that I'm talking about and the effect it has on the game. Here's a side by side comparison of what it looks like with the option ticked off and with the option ticked on. If you're not a fan of the way this looks, I suggest leaving this option ticked off. The show in mirrors option should always be ticked on. Make sure you also have long lasting smoke ticked on since this will make smoke linger in the air for much longer. I'll show you how this looks in the game a bit later. On screen size limit is similar to quantity limit but instead of limiting overall smoke it simply limits the amount of smoke that is visible on your screen. If you like to do a lot of tandems you can turn this down a bit or if you don't want to see anything you can turn it up. I suggest leaving it at 80%. Extra heating is probably the most important setting here but we'll be adjusting it in game so for the moment leave it at 100%. Now that we have content manager set up you can go to drive, select a car that you usually drift with or that can do a burnout, select any track and let's load up the game. Before I show you the in game settings I just want to quickly mention something. I recently created a Patreon page where I'll be sharing various pure presets, PP filters and some exclusive content such as driving tutorials, drifting tutorials and much more. If you want access to this exclusive content or if you just want to support my YouTube videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Now let's go back to the video. Once you're in game, from the right hand of your screen, go to apps and select the soul plan selector. This is where we'll be adjusting smoke strength and smoke thickness from. Smoke strength is basically the same option as extra heating was in content manager. Whatever changes you make to smoke strength here will also appear in content manager under extra heating. Smoke strength can vary from 0% all the way up to something crazy like 20,000% but we won't be using all of that. If you set smoke strength to 0% no smoke will appear when drifting. This can be useful if you're tandeming with other people online or if you're doing a drift train with lots of cars present on track. If you max out or almost max out smoke strength this will cause the tires to heat up almost instantaneously which in turn will cause the tires to smoke up almost instantaneously. This is obviously quite unrealistic but there's another issue with it. Since the tires heat up almost immediately even the tiniest amount of scrubbing or lock up when braking will cause the front tires to smoke up in dramatic fashion. Here's what happens when I intentionally lock up the front wheels with smoke strength set to almost 20,000. As you can see the smoke caused by a single lockup is massive and almost arcade like. So then the ideal setting for smoke strength would be to leave it at 100%. As you can see from this clip when I have smoke strength set at 100% the smoke likes to come out gradually. This obviously looks much more natural and realistic. Also when you lock up under braking there's some amount of smoke as you would expect but nothing too crazy. Finally we have smoke thickness which basically determines how patchy or how thick the smoke looks. This setting is quite similar to the quantity limit that we set in content manager but here it allows for much more adjustment. Again smoke thickness can be set anywhere from 0% to 20,000% but you won't need all of that. 
If you set smoke thickness to 0%, the car will not put out any smoke at all. The end result is the same as what happened when we put smoke strength at 0%, but obviously since strength and thickness function differently, they achieve the same thing using different methods. Now, if we put smoke thickness to 50%, some smoke will come out, but it will look patchy and unrealistic. I suggest only doing this if you have an issue with frames, such as when you have a weaker PC. If we max out smoke thickness, the smoke will obviously appear much thicker, but since we're limited by the amount of smoke particle that can be present on the screen, once you go past 500 or 1000%, it honestly doesn't matter too much. Assuming your PC can handle it, my recommended settings would be to set smoke strength at 100% and set smoke thickness at 300 to 350%. Here's a little showcase of what the smoke looks like with my recommended settings using some in-game replay footage. As you can see, the smoke appears quite thick and full, but it isn't too overpowering. If I pause the footage right here, you can even see some smoke still lingering in the background because we selected the long-lasting smoke box in Content Manager. One thing to keep in mind is that frames and performance will vary depending on whether you're practicing solo or if you're in an online lobby with dozens of other cars on track. If you're having issues with frame rate and you know for a fact that the smoke is causing it, you can turn down quantity limit from Content Manager or alternatively you can even turn down smoke strength or smoke thickness in game. That's pretty much it for this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you found this content useful and enjoyable. I'll have plenty of more videos coming up soon, but for the time being I'll just leave you with this drifting footage. Take care.